Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I cut bangs yesterday at midnight. Anyway, it looks like I have been actively posting videos on YouTube for six years now, which is pretty insane if you ask me. I thought it's like four max. But it wasn't until recently that I realized that the best content isn't what I make or what I talk about. It's a comment section. And while my comment section regularly features some of the most wholesome and the best exchanges that the internet has ever witnessed, it is also sometimes plagued. And I'm talking especially about the viral videos, which attract some random ass people. Their comment section is plagued by some absolute nonsense. Not gonna lie, it is quite entertaining and it also very often makes me go like, so as soon as I realized it's actually quite entertaining, I started taking screenshots of all the comments that made me lose faith in humanity. And I think the peak of me losing faith in humanity was my Mary Skorowska Kiri video. And if you're not familiar with this exquisite piece of art, I basically made a parody of the Wired autocomplete interviews. And I thought it goes without saying that it's not actually a Wired interview. Starting with the tired logo on the thumbnail, the low production quality of a video shot in front of my bedroom wall. And ending with the fact that Mary Skorowska Kiri has been generally known to be dead for over 80 years. Now I'm not trying to be disrespectful towards anyone that didn't have access to that kind of information, didn't have access to education and is not familiar with her or her story, but at the same time, I think it's like a significant female history figure that is widely recognizable, but no. There was a fair share of people that thought I am, in fact, Mari Skorowska-Kiri and uh, a fair share of people upset that I'm pretending to be her, apparently unfamiliar with the concept of comedy and acting. So let's just jump right into that stuff. What the fuck? Who are you trying to tell with this? Marie Curie is dead since 1934. I thought she was dead. Marie Curie is fucking dead. No offense, but I thought she is dead. <laughs> This one is actually kind of cute. I did a project on her in grade five and I thought she is dead. I remember sticking black and white pics of you and writing about your discoveries. I can't believe you're alive. And I can't understand why I was under the impression that you are dead despite writing like two A4 pages about you. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. I'm pretty sure she won't mind. Joe, that's not the real Marie Curie. This is so fake. I thought she was blind and dead. Marie Curie died around 90 years ago, and he was old, very old. Now you say that this young woman is Marie Curie. I did not say such thing. I think she is so cute and pretty. Love her. Wait, she is not the real Marie Curie? What? Hell, I don't get this. She is not Marie Curie. Stop lying. Appalling behavior. Isn't she like supposed to be in the 18th century? Wait, she's still alive? Never mind, goddammit. <laughs> Bro, fuck off, I thought this was legit, so I googled and oop, she died at least 80 years ago. <laughs> um, my bad. <laughs> Lol, jak niby odpowiasa, jak ona gdzieś w latach 1800 żyła w WTF, na historii mieliśmy to. You, sir, R12. This confuses me. Is this a sketch? Or some shit? Maria Skłodowska Kiri is dead for a many years. That girl is fake. I don't get that kind of joke, really. It's not funny at all. Brother, if you don't get that joke, why don't you stop commenting on it? This is a fake Maria Curry, God. Włączyłem to na kacu i naprawdę k***a chciałbym, ale nie wiem o co chodzi w tym filmie. I hope you're feeling better now. This is not Maria Skłodowska Curry. Maria Skłodowska died in 1934. Tak, być. Isn't she died? Fake videos? She's actually dead. So tired of this liberal propaganda. <laughs> Is she really Marie Curie? Love you, ma'am. Stay blessed with a healthy life. Boy, do I have news for you. Is you dead? How you be talking and shit? <laughs> I always thought she was deaf. <laughs> oh boy. Then you get people that are bored and go on the internet, see my videos and go like, what the f I hate that. <laughs> and then they proceed to write not one, not two, but a series of comments to let me know how unacceptable my internet presence is. Women have dressed up like men always. So, you are wrong. 
That was smart. Good for you. This has absolutely nothing to do with beauty or style in those eras. We don't need a history lesson. Or rather, that wasn't even a history lesson. You seem a bit confused, to be honest. You should be more respectful at some points. You should be more respectful at some points. You should be more respectful. Please tell me where you get your knowledge. If you are going to go about correcting everybody, you forgot to add that Josephine Baker didn't have tattoos. If you are vaguely mentioning 1920s, you forgot to add that in 1924, my grandma had a heart attack. Why do you think you know so much more than everybody else? Were you there to experience it yourself? You sure act like it in your videos that I have seen. Okay, mm -mm. we don't go there. I am not a time traveler. I have not experienced this. For the record, I have never been there and seen that. So please don't suggest that. Thank you. If you know so much, why didn't you bring up post-mort photography? You are always boasting about historical accuracy. When will we say you wearing arsenic and insects? If you, you are about accuracy, bring it on. Be right back, I'm just gonna smear some arsenic over my face or a random YouTube comment is please with me. The Witcher is the most sexist video game in video game history. Why are you featuring anything to do with it exactly? Trying on a 110 year old dress. Year, not years. Not Leviosa. I don't think you know what a speedrun is. I legit have no idea. I just watched some of them and I decided to make my own. Some people are also unfamiliar with the concept of a review, as in sharing your opinion on something rather than mocking it, but why are you judging people? It's rude. This film for the period costumes nailed it. Just because someone is opinionated doesn't necessarily mean they are an authority on the subject. Karelia, be quiet, negative person. Why are you lying? I've seen a couple of videos, you are just lying about fashion. Especially the Victorian one. You stupid girl, you make me mad. <laughs> I love this one because you can just feel the rage has spilled on the keyboard. Makes fun of kitsch and bad costumery, is wearing and selling a pin that is the epitome of kitsch and bad consumery. I'm fully aware of that. That pin is kitsch as hell and I love it. Some people feel the urge to comment on my appearance, which luckily for me I'm not insecure about, so it's just funny to read. This one starts off quite innocent. You should go outside and get some sun. You look like you've been dead for a couple years. <laughs> That's being um, white for you. First of you are ugly and you are, are a transvestite. Did I say you were ugly? You may have mentioned that before. <laughs> You look, you look like a bootleg Anne Hathaway. Um, I mean, it's not wrong. You are so ugly, lol, and so are your outfits. Why didn't a Polish woman appear in the film? The Polish woman has light hair and blue eyes. This is rude. If you only know one Polish woman, that's on you, bud. When you choose disgusting ho, she will be disgusting in every era. What the fuck? Your heavy accent is offensive. So is your long face. If a face shape offends you, I think you need therapy. Are you a cruise dresser? Are you guy? I hope she got something to eat because every person that's skinny ever is probably starving. Every now and then, an occasional weirdo appears and I don't, I don't know, I just, it's those are Elmira sunglasses too. She left them outside the tent at Punk Fest at one year. Sambas, what are you up to? It's his cause, doggy dog. Um, ma'am, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> Love the single tall pun and your sense of humor. You probably don't remember, but we met in the 20s at the Café de Flor in Paris. Different lifetime, obviously. I was with Pablo and Ernest having an absinthe and you arrived with Gertrude. We had a grand old time that day. A rainy Saturday afternoon. We met again later at Miss Stein's studio and became good friends. My name was Mark and you were Henriette. Been a long time, you're looking well. Cheers! Uh, the only thing that comes to my head is, oh hi Mark. Uh... The tiny waist was a way to say I'm not pregnant. Corsets severed as abortifactants. Dureň. Little Chris is so gay that tries to put his teeth on everything that we took Perry as the strength of a scion. 
All their weed is pork sausage from last summer. I don't even think they hang out this spring and summer on Sausage Dollar Store Online. It smells just like pork every time they're line up. All the men are a Dodge Emory Card 3 step away. New age men this month taking it faces without taking it, cause I know lol. Am I Asian guy a McDonald's breakfast burrito? I guess we'll never know. Now because of the way the YouTube algorithm works, some people end up on my channel accidentally and they're not too pleased about it. <laughs> Didn't learn anything. Just listened to you yap your trap for about two minutes and gave up. I shall go find the information elsewhere. Uh, Godspeed. I don't care. <laughs> I don't like her stupid channel. This is so incredibly stupid. I am better than everyone else. Jasno, chujnia. Clickbait, bliat. Co to za gówno? You are a tad boring. Not gonna lie, that looks hideous. The sleeves need a trigger warning. <laughs> um, so... Some people are also not too happy about the educational value of my content or just my content in general and they will not hesitate to let me know. Historically inaccurate representations. You should have studied old newspapers for real life photos and stories. I did the... Why does she sound like at the verge of tears? I think there are things more important than corsets. Just let people do and wear whatever they want. Some people are actually damaged by corsets and others don't. Who cares? <laughs> well, if someone is damaged by a corset, they might need medical attention. <laughs> what the hell? I'm also sometimes being cancelled uh, for doing extremely normal things like not liking horror movies. We're all sad to find out you hate on horror and spooky stuff. Honestly, you're starting to come off as not a very nice person. Rather judgmental. Remember when some people adopted a woman's name as a slur for entitled behavior that was more characteristic of a man? And men around the world used it against any women who asserted themselves as a way of <laughs> Honey, it's a minute-long sketch about a 1920s flapper. Okay, <laughs> this one genuinely pissed me off because I did not learn violin for seven years for this. In a way, it's more impressive because for all her talents, Carolina doesn't have musical training. I'm not trying to be nasty in saying that, just going on her recorder playing in the picnic video from a couple of weeks ago. Her tooling then would have had at least some rhythm if she'd ever studied an instrument. Can I just say that that was hardly a sample of my musical skills. So another one of my peak losing faith in humanity moments came when I made a parody of like a Facebook viral video. Now again, a concept of parody is foreign to some and it resulted in a lot of gold content. And I get that some people have difficulty picking up jokes and sarcasm, but not all of them feel the need to write and I quote, give her an Oscar, what an actress. When people seeking for attention, are definitely the worst. Obviously it's fake. Why would someone record someone else having a panic attack over her cat disappearance? The acting is really bad. Honey, it was supposed to be. I'm more concerned about her weight and shape. She needs to eat more. But not the cat though. <laughs> I'm not sure if he just said my cat is fat or if I shouldn't eat the cat, but either way, I don't get it. Downvoted. <laughs> Uh, the 1940s called and they want to know how the clothes are working out for you. Boy, do I have news for you. It is an actual 1940s dress, so well done. Horrible acting. Again, as it should be. The cat looks like... <laughs> God damn it, he's kind of right. We also get a bunch of people that are upset with the fact that I make jokes as a woman. This was written by a woman. Sources? Wasn't funny. Sir, you are a dog. I don't think you would get that joke anyway. And then, I think this is my favorite part. There is a fair share of like backhanded compliments like these. You look extremely attractive in that getup. But I bet when you're not playing dress up, you just shuffle about in jeans and t-shirt and look like a rat bag. <laughs> um, this was going well and then... She was actually kind of cute. Before she began this cringe-inducing vintage bullshit. If only you could talk less. And in less slang English. I don't know you or your channel, however, I'm confused. 
your physical look is definitely not 2031. It appears a lovely 1950-ish to me, yet you do the voices, slang, hand signs of ignorant punk jerks of 2021. So what about the dichotomy? Um, first of all, my dude, if you are a time traveler yourself, as you have exposed by saying 2031, please do not try to expose me as a time traveler, because that's against the code. I like your explanation, but the intro was pretty cringe. Good vid, though. Anyway, these were all the comments that made me lose faith in humanity recently, and I'm happy to announce that for each one of those, I get like hundreds and thousands of wholesome, sweet, educational, constructive criticism comments that are much more valuable and, you know, they help me restore that faith in humanity back. So thank you all for that. And uh, don't worry, because like 99% of you all are super sweet. And I'm thankful for you, so... Ew, that was... Oh, that was too nice. Jeez. Bye! Oh, I forgot again. I do it every time. Don't forget that you can join this channel. You can become a member of this channel and you will get live streams and you will get memes and you will get updates of what I'm currently working on. And uh, don't hesitate to join. There is a button right next to my channel name that you can click and just enjoy the benefits of giving me your money. <laughs> that was uh, smooth. Bye.